We finally reached Mutt level 90 and I was able to do it simply because I was finishing up my solo battles and I'm like, you know what? This is the first time since like they released the new update that I decided to do any solo battles. And I'm like, all right, I just got to finish it up. I don't want to keep wasting time. I want to get everything that I need to get right now so it's easier to go forward, right? Because ultimately our goal is to get to, you know, a, a 99 overall ultimate team. That's what we want. We want a 99 overall ultimate team. We are taking the um, the ultimate legend method because it's the cheapest way to get to a 99 overall. So if you are considering getting rid of your current players for whatever reason, it would be a smart idea. I told you guys about this two and a half months ago and it worked out pretty good for me. So I would recommend it to every viewer that's watching it to just go ultimate legends and just get the cheaper legends and just go 99 that route. All right. So now that we gained all the XP that we got. We got like the 1390, whatever like that. We reached the max level, max level 90. You're going to get a power-up pass, and you're going to also get that fantasy pack that's an exclusive store offer. Now, we are not spending any type of coins, I mean, uh, any type of money, any real currency anymore. We stopped buying We stopped buying packs around the same time, like two and a half months ago. So we haven't bought a pack since then, and we feel very, very good here at Gmaya's World. Hopefully, you guys will consider not buying any packs as well and starting to grind the game out to the best of your ability. Now, these are all the scores and everything that I did um, with the solo battles. We can update the opponent. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to play anymore. There's no need for me to actually play it. So that's just, you know, updating it to do whatever it's doing there. We're going to go over to um, the objectives and mutt level so we can just clarify that everything has been done. All right. So mutt level. Oh, we get another uh, daily objective also for level 90. So we could actually do that one right now as well. So let's go ahead. We're going to back out of that. It's going to give us the, uh, I guess, the, the power up pass. And also the um, it's gonna level us up with the um, the uh, for Ricky Williams. So we'll get that. That's good. And then we'll get the level 90. So this is going to make Ricky Williams also a 99 speed. For those of you guys that don't know what's going on, you're gonna also be able to do that. Uh, so that's gonna be kind of huge to have two 99 speed, uh, a random tier one egg, bro. Random tier one egg though. Can we? You, should we open this? Like. Bro, it's a random tier one egg, so we know it's tier one, so what is it? What are we doing here? What is this? The hatch is on 421. All right, whatever, bro. Like, I'm not even really interested in all that stuff. It is what it is. But what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is this. We're going to check out the store, see what the exclusive offer is, because you can find that in the Mutt level packs. So for $10, you get to choose, um, you get to choose one of those. A 94 to 96 specialist, 95 to 98 overall offense. Like, I don't really care about all that. that, that that's a joke to me. Um, if you wanted to dabble in something like this, where you can get one of these cards, like maybe you, you want to power up a Jadavian Clowney, um, Julio Jones or whatever, for coins, not a big deal. But we're not spending any money at all at any time, so it doesn't really matter. Um, all this other stuff, it doesn't matter. Game day, we don't care about that. And this is the picks. All right, so that's pretty much, that's all that's there, is they're offering you that pack for $10, all right? Everything else that they gave us, I'm going to show you that's currently in my item binder right now. I haven't opened. So these two things that I, you know, I got from that, I think I got, I don't know where I got this from. I don't know. I think this was part of it too, but I haven't opened up any of them because I'm waiting for another uh, ultimate legend that's going to be really worth it for me to go after all of that. So I'm just going to leave that stuff right there as we go forward. I don't know what keeps popping up on the top right. Let me see. What, what did it, what happened here? I completed objective. Yeah. All right, bro. I got it. Like EA. Thank you, bro. All right, so let's go over. We have Adrian Peterson now, and I could tell you this much. I really, really like the way he plays on the field. Is it a chance that he might get rage sold instantaneously? It's always a possibility. But the bottom line is we're about to make a gold 99 Ricky Williams, and I'm very, very excited about it, bro. Bro, extremely excited about it because this dude right here is a – bro, look at – you see those numbers? Yeah, it's about to be on and popping. The only issue that I have, I'm not sure. Let's check his – um. we're about to go check everything with him right now to see if he actually unlocks Legend Chem. I don't think he does. All right, so he doesn't. I, I don't, oh, wait, it's not supposed to be in there anyway. All right, is it? Nope, they don't give it to him. So he doesn't get Legend Chem, even though he's not on any current team. It doesn't really make much sense, but that's what's going on right now. I don't understand it. I would, I would assume that he would be considered a legend, and that's something that he would do. Um, obviously, right now, we can see that that's not the case. But what I can tell you is he's going to be one great backup. Now, you might say to me, he is the best running back in the game, and I agree. I totally agree. If you look at these numbers, you can't really argue it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no real argument to it. But the bottom line is Adrian Peterson gives me a different aspect. 
And I can't really explain the way that he moves around and everything like that because you're looking at the elusiveness. Ricky Williams is obviously, right now, the way we're looking at it, the better card. Adrian Peterson moves around very, very slick. So, like, he, he, bro, the dude's like oil, bro, the greased up deaf guy from Family Guy. He moves very differently. So I see a lot of what you guys, you know, what you guys were saying when you were recommending him. He does move a lot differently. So I would, at this point right now, unless they just nerf him out of, out of control, I would absolutely recommend Adrian Peterson. I think he's one of the best backs in the game right now. And the only other person that I felt that was really, really good was, what was it, Eric Allen? I think the, the Raiders dude. Oh, Marcus Allen. It was Marcus Allen. He's the only other person that felt like he was a really good user uh, running back other than Ricky Williams with all the other ones that I use. And I've used almost every running back. So now that he's a 99, that's one of the things you have to look forward to that I would urge you to try to get through it. Obviously, there was no rush because most of us are just taking our time going to level 90 because, you know, Madden is not really as exciting because it's just a lot more frustration when you go into ranked games because dudes are doing whatever they want and it just it, it becomes unbearable. So that's one of the other things that I wanted to, you know, address and let you guys see what's going on with that, right? Um, for everything else that we're planning to do, this is, this is the major situation because the more that I think about it, Adrian Peterson should have probably got a legend card too because the dude is a legend, but that's neither here nor there. When you look at the way that, the, that my team is developed, you see the legends passing, you see the legend pass D, right? Uh, though, and a lockdown. Those are very, very important pieces. And now I just showed you that I have two 99 speed running backs. So now, with the way everything is set up, once we get our right tackle at a 99, which I'm starting to get a little bit eager with. You know what I'm saying? Like waiting on Willie, Willie Anderson to get his power up. I'm like, yo, bro, I want it right now. We can take a look at some of the things and see if it's worth it to do anything. But I am starting to get a little eager, but I'm going to pace myself with that. As far as defensively goes, you can see I, I did some labbing with Jason Taylor and Julius Peppers, two of my newest additions. These two players, shout out to all you guys that recommended them. I definitely see a difference in the way that they move. Um, I wasn't a big fan of going after Jason Taylor, but after I see the way that he plays, he, he's a very, very good card in the game. Um, Especially if you want to run SAG D. Like a lot, I don't really run SAG D. I'm always blitzing 19,000 people. So it doesn't, like EA Sports does the nano detection and it slows you down. So you don't really get the full whiff of what he is. But even with that, with all the nano detection and all the other stuff that they're doing, he still has a huge impact on the outcome of a play. And I really, really like that. So I'm loving what Julius Peppers is doing. He's obviously also a gold 99. It just doesn't show right now because it's a different position. And he wouldn't have been a gold 99 on the other side uh, for whatever reason. But we are waiting for Alan Page to become a full 99 overall team. Like this guy, that 99 will give us 99 all over here. Randy Moss might be an issue, like I told you. And we could look at a right tackle right now to see if we, we could change it up uh, as far as legends go. Um, if we wanted to go that route, we could see exactly what's going on. But ultimately... Right now, where, where we stand right now, once we get Allen Page, the defense is 99. Defense is all 99. We chilling. We going. Same route. And I told you, as I was doing this, I was trying to explain to you guys, go after the ultimate legends. Stop staying with the regular players because EA Sports, they do these promos and they make it almost impossible for you to keep up as far as like, you know, if you're grinding, very, very difficult to stay up to date with the current players because people are going to charge a little bit more for them. So... That's just something to keep in mind. Now, when we go look at right tackles that are available now, I don't like what's available, which is why I haven't updated anything. And also, like I told you before, all those packs that you saw, none of them are getting opened until you know they release the Ultimate Legend that I either want or it's worth it to open it at that time. So let's go over here. We're going to look at the right tackles really quickly. Let's just check them out, see what's going on. Um, right tackle, and let's go to Ult, what is it, 96, 97? What do they got, 96 and 97? we got to put program. Uh, let's go Ultimate Legends. Do they have any? Right tackles, that's Ultimate Legends? All right, none. What about a 98 to 99? <coughs> Excuse me. What? They have no Ultimate Legends on a 9. Okay, so we have to just wait, bro. There's nothing else we can really do. We have to just wait for this guy to, to do what he needs to do. Like, this is kind of wild right here. I thought that they had something that we could probably use, but there's nothing available. So... We have to definitely wait on that. And then Randy Moss is obviously going to get his upgrade. So that will give us the other plus one at wide receiver. That would make the entire thing. Except except for the fact that George Kittle and Bits, he's going to still be a 97. The worst case scenario, though, if we don't get the 99 because this guy is a 97, he will have to get benched and we'll put, put somebody else in there. That's a 99. 
just to go, you know, get over the hump or whatever, because he might be an issue. But everybody else, as far as starting goes, once he gets his plus one, this guy gets the th uh, the four. That five more should put us over the hump for the offensive side of the ball. All right, so that's pretty much what we're looking to do right now. So we are mutt level ninety. All right, own the own, and we already have everything with John Madden coach as well. Everything is already complete. The series six with the extra chem for John Madden. I just want to point that out. For those of you that have been asking about John Madden, I want you to know like we have that additional slot and everybody does have the strength and all the additional things that come with the Series uh, 6 uh, right here with the physical and uh, scheme chemistry slot 2. So what we did was we added an additional physical right here that gives plus 1 speed, jump, strength, agility, and acceleration. So that's 2 of 2. Rushing is 2 of 2. Uh, pass D is 1 of 2. We'll probably finish that out. And then we have the one more, right? We're going to have the Madden rushing, I guess. Because we have, no, no, rush D. It's going to be the rush defense. We'll get to that late. Like, we don't need to do rush D right now. We'll finish off the year with that because there's they're going to be uh, three more series. All right? So as that comes up, we'll be able to figure that out as it goes. But as the team looks right now, I'm really, really enjoying the way the squad is. So no matter who I play, no matter what kind of savage animal we're playing, we could always resort to playing Sag D and send these two monsters in. And they, they, they do some wild stuff. This guy just does whatever he wants. Uh, you can see that I, I have situational uh, pass rusher on him and secure tackler. Um, those are very, very key for dudes that like to run tosses and stuff. Because once they make contact, the secure tackler and the way Julius Peppers, you know, he's 6'7", when he dives, it's going to be on impact. So it's going to work out a lot, you know, a lot better for us going forward. I just wanted to point that out as well. Plus, he has 99 finesse moves. It's in white. So he will get off the block immediately and make plays. All right, so that's where we are right now. I will continue to update you guys. I will be giving you guys some gameplay because you guys have been asking about it. If you're not already subscribed to G Myers World Gaming right here on YouTube, please go do so now. G Myers World Podcast. Follow me on Twitter at G Myers World, Facebook, Instagram, all G Myers World. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're Mutt Level 90, and it's only going to get better from here. See you guys and girls next time. One love.